Ah, um, ah, America. It's the land of the free, the home of the brave, and also a place to make habitat for some of the scariest mythical creatures to ever exist. From monsters of pure bad luck to ones that will not hesitate to devour you, I found the top 10 scary creatures in American folklore. I'm your host, Andrew, and don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe for some more content. Now let's get into this. Number 10, we have the Dark Watchers of California. The St. Lucia Mountains or the St. Lucia Range is a rugged mountain range located in the coastal area of Central California. For many years, people have looked up at these tall peaks and spotted tall, cloaked figures looking down at them, and in the blink of an eye, they are gone. These seven to 15 feet tall mystical entities stand motionless, wearing only a black cloak and broad brimmed hats. Sightings were reported all the way back from the 1700s when the Spanish had just arrived on the land and notice these tall dark watchers on the mountain. Despite these entities not doing any physical harm, they are always watching, making people in the area feel worried and scared of the feeling of not being alone. Some have said that the dark watchers are a group of migrants stuck on the mountain, while others believe that they are there to warn people of the danger ahead or in their future. Regardless, if you see these guys, your hike is probably going to end up a lot worse. Number nine, a Snallygaster. Don't be deceived by the odd name. This creature is one of the most confusing and terrifying creatures I've ever mentioned ever. Said to have resided in Frederick County, the Snallygaster is a dragon-like beast that is described as a half reptile and half bird that lives deep in the caves of South Mountain. Apart from its eye-popping looks, the beast is said to be responsible for stealing and eating farm animals and even children. The creature would be a silent killer and would swoop down from the skies before you would even realize. The Snallygaster would consume its victims by first draining all of its blood before taking it to its lair to consume later. The last sighting in Frederick County occurred in March 1909 when three men fought the creature outside a railroad station for nearly an hour and a half before chasing it into the woods of Carroll County. However, who knows if this really went down because I believe a creature of this caliber can easily take out three humans, but maybe that's just me. At number eight, we have Alti. In southeastern Georgia, along the 137 mile long Altamaha River, some say a gigantic sea monster is lurking in the depths with reports dating back since the 1800s. Alti, or by its original name, Altamaha, is a river sea monster that was first devoured by Captain Delano of the schooner Eagle. He described the creature being 70 feet long with a circumference the size of a barrel and the head resembling an alligator. Reports of the creature started to amass with every description describing it as a 20 to 30 feet long sturgeon-like fish, but in my opinion, this thing looks like a distant relative to the Loch Ness Monster. Don't you guys see it? Over the years, there were many sightings of Alti and they remain consistent in their descriptions. Then more recently, a video by Jeff Warren shared an unknown creature that could resemble Alti, but you guys be the judge of that. Number seven, Pedro Mountain Mummy. The Shushan Indians of Wyoming believed in a race of tiny people and said they were responsible for the deaths of their comrades with the use of poisonous arrows. They described this race of people to stand from 20 inches to three feet tall, and they gave them the name Nemirier. I'm so sorry if I mispronounced that. These people were known to be very hostile, not only to the natives, but to their own kind as well. It was said that they would take the life of their own people if they became too sick and couldn't help the community anymore. So basically, if you're old here, you're gone. After years and years, there has been no solid evidence for these little people until 1932. A 14-inch fully formed mummy was found in the San Pedro Mountains near Casper, Wyoming. When they examined the object, they confirmed that it did have real human remains, although it was unclear if it was a native child or this race of little people. Eventually, the mummy would be passed on through different people, but all of them had one thing in common. They would be faced with bad luck as long as they possessed the mummy, which led many to believe it was cursed. Number six, Torch Lake Monster. The tale of the Torch Lake Monster dates back in the 1960s and 70s. Obviously, it takes place in Torch Lake, which is located in the North Michigan and is also their second largest lake in the state. A fisherman and coach by the name of Dave Foley is credited with spotting the creature first and telling stories of it since he worked by the lake for a while. Legend goes that the giant creature has a lizard's body, the head of a cat, one brown and one blue eyes, along with slimy green skin. The lake is approximately 285 feet deep, which makes what's lying underneath much more scarier and worrisome. Nighttime is when this creature is said to arise from the depths. At this time, many swimmers and boats go missing, only to wash ashore with no evidence of his demise. In the Humber list, we have Richmond Vampire. Originating in the state of Virginia, this is not your ordinary vampire story. Instead, in 1925, 
1975, the Churchill train tunnel collapsed with workers still inside. This was a tragedy for all on board because if you didn't pass away, you were badly injured. So surprisingly, in the wreckage, a bloody man appeared with jagged teeth and skin hanging off his bones. Everyone had thought it was just a mere survivor of the incident, but here's where it gets kind of weird. As it got closer to the man, the man quickly jumped and ran away to the nearby Hollywood Cemetery, and he disappeared into the mausoleum within. They then say the vampire still inhabits the cemetery grounds, which has led many satanic and cult groups to visit and attempt to summon the vampire once again. Number four, Alba Twitch. In the forest of Columbia, Pennsylvania is a four foot tall hairy creature known as Alba Twitch. Their name is just short for apple snitch since they are known to be snatching apples left and right. People who walk near along the Susquehanna River claim to have these small creatures violently throw apples at them as they've tried to push them away from their homes. Their homes are said to be on top of treetops where they would only come down to gather apples. These hairy humanoids are often mistaken as Bigfoot children since they are often reported in the area as well. What if these guys are actually Bigfoot children? This would explain their small stature at least. Number three, the Nain Rouge. It's said that since the city of Detroit was founded in Michigan, bad luck has befallen the area. This is all because of the devilish red imp known as Nine Rouge, and it's said that he cursed the entire city. Folklore suggests that Detroit's founder, Antoine de la Moth Cadillac, was warned by a fortune teller that he would become face to face with the Nine Rouge and he would have to treat him with the most utmost respect and attention. Except this information came straight through this year and right out the other. Because when he finally met up with this creature, he hit him with his crane and told him to get out of his way. This is when the angry imp cursed the entire city of Detroit and Cadillac as well. Shortly after, Cadillac would lose his fortune and have to move back to France. But misfortune still occurred in the city. It said that in all of the disastrous events that happened in Detroit, the Nine Rouge could be spotted just before each event. It also been seen during Detroit's riots of 1967 and 1976's ice storm that caused electricity to go out for days. Number two, Chessie. Basically, Maryland's very own version of Nessie or the Loch Ness Monster. Just like the beast from Scotland, Chessie is a large serpent-like creature that lurks in the depths of Chesapeake Bay. Witnesses claim that the monster is around 25 feet to 40 feet long, and it uses its body as a sine curve to swim around the water. The sightings began in 1977 when the mass hysteria hit the locals, believing the creature was truly out there causing a massive disappearances and drownings. The sightings continued all the way to the late 80s when the hype finally died down. Perhaps Chessie just swam away from the area, or maybe it was just the 70s. Or maybe since it was the 70s, everyone just wasn't sober. Also, Steven Spielberg's Jaws came out in 1975, which could have added more paranoia towards the water. You know? At our number one spot, we have the Wendigo. This one is pretty much known to all North Americans, but it's still one of the most terrifying humanoids to ever exist. A Wendigo is said to be a very rare demon, and they are described as strong monsters that have powerful desire to kill and eat their victims. The legend states that a Wendigo can possess you and even turn itself into you if the person is greedy or weak and wandering the woods alone at night. There are multiple myths talking about what Wendigos look like, but majority of them describe them to look like an animal, but with very tall and a skull as a head, long legs, and their whole body covered in hair and drenched in blood. They are said to be very fast with strength like no other, super healing, amazing sense of smell, and is even said to step on water. Jesus? So be very cautious next time you try to camp in this area. Well, these are the top 10 scary creatures in American folklore. What'd you guys think about this video? Leave a comment down below with your thoughts, and don't forget to like this video and subscribe. I'm your host, Andrew, and I hope you guys have a scary day.